Welcome back to the homestead. Today we're planting asparagus. So we ordered 50 asparagus crowns from Norse Farms and they ship everything by mail and usually it arrives within two days of the shipment. So we've got our crowns there. We have both purple and green asparagus and they send you this planting book when you order from them. And so there's the asparagus page. So it tells you everything you need to know about the soil and the planting and the aftercare of the plants. In this case, we have 25 purple asparagus crowns and 25 green asparagus crowns. They have slightly different directions between the two. So the purple need to be planted six to eight inches apart and the green need to be planted 12 to 14 inches apart. So what we have behind us here is two 25 foot trenches. And we prepared these ahead of time as they recommend in their directions. And what we have in here is a mix of peat moss, compost, vermiculite, and our soil. And that should give us a pretty good bed for the asparagus. We've made it about four inches deep. You're supposed to start with two inches of soil underneath the asparagus that's good and ready to grow into and then you're supposed to cover the top of the asparagus crown with about two inches of soil. So that's what we have in there and later as the asparagus crowns start to grow up through the soil you then go back and add more on top. So you end up filling in the trench slowly over the next six to eight weeks as the plants start to grow. It looks like we're going to get a little bit of rain here so we're gonna go ahead and pause and we'll be back once the shower's passed. All right, so the rain shower ended and we're back. Here's our box of asparagus. Let's open it up and see what we got. So there's the book that comes with them. I showed you that earlier, which actually came with our strawberry plants that we ordered. Uh, same book, packing list, and there's two sets of asparagus. And the other thing that's in here... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Oh boy! More blueberries! So <laughs> we've got two kinds of blueberries here, so we'll have to get these in the ground as well. You can see that they look nice and healthy. They've got some good buds on them. So we'll want to get these planted right away. But first, we're going to unwrap the asparagus and get that in the ground. So this is our purple asparagus roots. And the other one, which is a very similar looking bundle is our green asparagus. So there is a single asparagus root. According to the directions, we are supposed to plant these not so much like strawberries where you want to kind of like unfurl the roots like that and kind of cone them. This says to spread them out and lay them basically flat in your trench. So that's what we're going to go do. And I think we're going to put the purple asparagus in the lower trench and the green in the upper trench. So let's go see if we can get this in the dirt. Okay, so that's a nice fat asparagus crown. And so far we've had really good luck ordering from this company. We've gotten excellent plants that have sprouted up really well. We've gotten our um, strawberries from them as well as our raspberries and trying to remember if we got anything else but both of those have done really excellently for us so we're looking to have these roots sit nice and flat in our trench just like that we're gonna go ahead and gently cover them over and you can kind of see why they tell you to put two inches of soil in the bottom 
and then set your plants in there and put two more inches in it just saves you some digging but we wanted to be ahead of the game and have the soil ready and we're just going to cover all the way to the top of the crown and i believe we may be supposed to cover over the top of the crown so let's double check our directions Okay, so yes, we are supposed to cover over the top of the crown, so we're going to go ahead and get a little more soil on top of that one. So we're supposed to have two inches on top. All right, so I think that about does it for the interesting part of planting asparagus. We've got a lot more row to go, but you guys probably don't want to watch all that. So if you have any questions, leave them down below and we'd be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.